What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of What's in My Closet, a journey through a sports junkie's closet. As always, this is your boy, Martin. I got a really special jersey coming up today. This week, we're going to travel a little bit south. We're going to go down to Brazil. As you guys may know, I was born in El Salvador, but I was raised in the United States most of my life, meaning that growing up, El Salvador wasn't ever really present in all these like World Cups and tournaments like that. So I had to eventually pick and choose teams. And I always gravitated to two teams, Argentina and the U.S. Now, the U.S. hasn't always been as successful as Argentina has been, but they've always, always had some pretty cool jerseys. Now, a personal favorite for me is, of course, 2014 World Cup jersey. As you guys can see, we keep the red white and blue that is so traditional in the u.s flag what i really like about this jersey is that it's mostly red if you look in the back it's all red but even in the sleeves we keep the same colorway the jersey that the players used in the back they would have the white numbers which i thought looked really really cool i liked that the logo was even a little bit more blue than traditional i just really liked how it looked on the players i like how it fits right here the sleeves are a little bit tighter so it makes the impression that you're a little bit buffer than you really are, which I really personally like. As you guys may remember this jersey from Clint Dempsey's 32nd opener against Ghana in the 2014 World Cup. Like I said, it's one of my personal fan favorites. First time the U.S. had a predominantly red jersey at a World Cup since 1998. You know the idea, the red, white, and blue always present. The logo is a little bit more blue. The regret I have with this jersey is not getting a last name on the back. I do love how it's just a plain red with a little bit of blue up here. And of course the sleeves are red, white, and blue. But I would have loved to be able to get a name on the back, especially Dempsey, who was at the peak of his career at that point. My favorite U.S. player of all time, other than Wondolowski. Um, but granted... I did get the jersey with like days to spare. And so I went to every single store. None of them were able to get the names printed until like a week or two later. And I said, by that point, the US might not even be in the tournament. So I need the jersey now. So I just went with this one. And at this point, still no regrets. It's still my favorite jersey. 2016 Copa America, the black one might be a close second. It's something about the colors, man. There's nothing more patriotic than a red, white, and blue, especially on a jersey. Special shout out to those of you that commented down below asking for a USA jersey. I'm gonna go a little bit more into the international side. Within the next few days, I'm gonna release the list of the upcoming jerseys that I have on without giving it away. So I'm gonna give a few clues and it's up to you guys to try to figure it out because I got some really cool ones coming along. Club, international, from all over the world. So you guys, if you guys wanna see a specific jersey or player, make sure you comment down below. If you guys like the video, if you guys like the jersey, make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe, and your post notifications are on. So you never miss a jersey because I got some really cool ones that are coming up and you definitely don't wanna miss them. And as always guys, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.